Well, let's talk about first time half marathoners. Mm -hmm. So you said that you recommended negative splits. Is that the term? Yes. Someone else messaged me and said that she goes for even splits. Mm -hmm. When I run half marathons, I didn't have anyone in my life like you, and it was just a free for all. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts for half time, first time half marathons, mm -hmm. and how would they prepare for that now? So, I think ideally, right, you would run even splits. I think that's in an ideal world. The reason why I tell most people negative splits is very rarely can you predict exactly what pace will make an even pace, right? You would have to know yourself really, really well in your capabilities. And not only that, you'd have to factor in all of the different factors, including the weather of the day, the humidity, right? How much sleep you had, how much stress you had leading into it, what the conditions are, the grounds wet, you know, like all of these things you'd have to factor in to really nail even pacing. And so what I would suggest, especially if someone is trying to learn what their real race pace is, is start off, let's say you're like, you know, if you had to guess, right? And I'm like, what do you think your half marathon pace is? And you just say a solid 10, let's just say, because it's an easy number to mess with, right? I would say run the first six miles at a 10, 15, right? So slightly slower. Then you run the next four miles at what you think your race pace is, which is a 10. And then the last 5K, which is the last 3.1 miles, then you you give it all you got, right? Because it's close enough to the end that if you dig yourself in a hole, you're close enough that you'll save yourself, basically.